Why not? It's a gold medal game. Only difference is it's not the United States and Canada, but United States and Team Finland buoyed by a raucous crowd here. Bob Corkum knows he's in enemy territory, but his team was all over the Finns in the late going that first period, did everything but score as we get ready for period two. Well, they outshot the Finns 17 to four, and most of those were great scoring chances right from the slot area. Nura Ratu stood her ground, steered those rebounds, and held on to give her team a much needed rest, and that is huge to get into the face-off circle and have an opportunity to start with the puck. Fresh ice, key for the Finns. They throw it on net again to get that first goal. Get any goal against Team USA that have not given up a goal. And look at this, Carmen with a head shake. Now back. Fins are gonna go on the power play. Hillary Knight's going to the penalty box. And Sonny Hakala was pulled down. Uh, looks like this was on entry and Rika Salinen winds up with the puck. Carvinen is the one that makes the pass. And it's Cameron Easy. Cameron Easy just trips Salinen up. So a power play that had two goals against Canada with Toulouse in the circle winning the faceoff was the key to the success. Look for Lindstedt and Soberline and big bodies in front of Alex Rigsby. And look for Yeni Hirokoski. It looks like she's okay. She's kind of hobbling at the end of that first period. She has got that rocket shot. Erikoski holds now. He'll set it up. Finn's trying to score here on the power play. A scoreless game. Here's Herikoski's shot, and that's blocked by Hillary Knight, who's out there on the PK as well. Well, you can certainly bet that the scouting report is out after watching that semifinal game, and Herikoski just one-timing it from the top in that 1-3-1 one, one set. Hillary Knight goes to the bench after wristing it down the ice. Fresh PK unit out for Team USA. Here come the Finns. 77, Susanna Tapani streaks through the zone. Rika Salen and Owen, the referee goes down hard. And the Americans come up with the puck. That was a good job for two to converge on the puck carrier there to be able to get it sent down 200 feet. <laughs> 45 seconds remain in the man advantage. Again, a quick shot by Tapani. Twomanen at the point. Twomanen. Pass was too far. Salonen back to Tawoman in the wrister through traffic. Team USA again, and barely a shot. It got through that forest in front. 20 seconds to go, maybe one crack here for the Finns. And the Finns are certainly forcing the puck at the top. To Michelle Carvin and go end to end here. Quick shot. New side, Rigsby handle. Carvin is such a gifted hockey player. Now, one on one. It's panic on Hirokoski. Just strips her of that puck. Well, right there, ladies and gentlemen, is why Yeni Hirokoski has been voted the best defenseman at the world six times. Here's the other stuff she does. Well, she's so agile on her skate, she leads the rush. Look for her to jump into the attack as well. She played so many minutes, over 27 minutes against the Canadians in the semifinals. The top three defensemen on Finland play 22 plus. So the question was, would they have the legs to beat Bob Corkum's team here tonight? A fast, aggressive team that loves to play energized, quick movement hockey. And they score a ton of goals, just not so far tonight. Remember, they only had one after two periods against the Finns in the round robin. And that game is almost becoming a carbon copy now of this one. Skamura wrapped out by, uh, by a Huta. Things were kind of out of gas at the end of that first period. To a good start here in the second. Americans gain the zone. Anna Brandt turn and try to keep that in, but it's knocked out into the neutral zone. 
Anna Brandt, a welcome addition into this lineup. She's a, such a smart hockey player. She's always got her head on a swivel, looking around. Moves the puck extremely well. There's an errant pass that goes down the ice. An icing call. So face-off coming back into the finish zone. Posse Mustinen isn't happy with that one, but certainly he has been a mastermind behind his team. He looked like he had been playing chess all week and certainly has done that. He gives his team a lot of autonomy in terms of their practices, the coaching style that he gives them. He wants them to buy in and believes that they have to have a say in it so that they trust in the process. They reset the dot here. Decker wins. Back to Steckline. Fake the shot, falls her. Look at the barricade in front of Ratu. Clearly Bob Corkum has said, we're gonna put bodies in front of her and get some shots through. It's the only way right now you might be able to beat number 41. Decker has lost it to Sonny Hakala. Pins. Bounce it back into the American zone, another icing call. Well, the Finns are doing a good job of getting back up when that puck comes out of their defensive zone. They're getting back up, they're getting up into that neutral zone with one offensive player pressuring. So that's something that they're doing. They're forcing the United States to make passing decisions. Finns are doing a good job of reading that second pass. This is not a big place, Espo. I'm wondering if there's anybody at home tonight. <laughs> they're all here. Young girls, young boys, grandma, grandpas, parents, you name it, they're here. Just hockey fans in general. It's awesome to see. Great country. Latka night in Suomi. Hockey night in Finland. Chance to win a gold medal. Could you imagine? I'll tell you what, this Finnish team is imagining and believing. Team USA. Not the defending Olympic and world champions for nothing. Americans have not had a shot yet in this period. And look at Kayla Barnes going to work, and it's an offside. So getting clogged up in the neutral zone a little bit, and that's one thing Passy Mustinen does. He'll forecheck you, he'll sit back and trap you, but one thing, he will never be premeditated. No, his different lines are doing different things, and that's changing. It's quite something to see that the the adjustment in game that Posse Mustinen is making you can see the full buy-in by his team team USA they're just a great puck moving team and they'll just need to stay the course be patient wait for the seams and not try and force anything and the Americans burst out again here's Cameron easy saw a knight on the far side and it was Nora Toulouse who lost her footing there that created that rush Americans look a little out of sync here to start this second period. Well, Bob Corkum certainly spoke to them. You know, it's just staying the course, but that was some good puck movement on entry. And just as Panic was looking for Hillary Knight, streaking down the right wing, probably should have just put that puck to the net, but nonetheless, a good offensive entry with some speed. That's what the Americans are known for. Five minutes gone. Hillary Knight in the second period hasn't been able to. Unleash that rocket yet. Now Tanya Niskanen. Americans pinch in, keep it in. Full flight now, Cameron Easy. Knight will go into that slot area. She's the slot machine. She gets that puck there. Not getting it this time. Karakoski wants to weave in. Put it in on. Alex Rigsby and force a stoppage. Well, Alex Rigsby just watching that one all the way into her glove. Kierkowski's done that a few times in this game already as she wheels up the ice. She recognizes that she slows her forwards down. They've stopped at the blue line, so continues on to get that whistle. But again, the, the face-off here is just so important. As Hannah Brandt takes it for the United States. And Rika Salinen. He's logged a lot of ice time already for Team Finland at 45 years young. And a barge through was Comfort, held up by the finished check. There's Puck here, Latu pokes it out, but 
Johnson, a good poke check. Kept in, off her knees now. Good play by Hannah Brandt. Tappany has really sprung to life over the last couple of games. She really has. She was very quiet early in the tournament, but really came to life against Canada in particular. We saw some jump against the Czechs in the quarterfinals as well. Tuominen, Rigsby, but there was an offside. It was so hard to hear here. Breathless in Espo. What a great day to be a sports fan. Masters on, NHL playoffs. And of course this, climax of the Women's World Hockey Championship. United States and Finland. Locked in a 0-0 draw. Almost to the midway point of the second period. Still, Nora Ratu has not faced a shot here in this second period. Decker fights off a check. And a Decker. Give you a little something to prove. Here goes Silver Lyman. Too loose. Top right there. No penalty. Crowd lets you know it. Well, this is one of those lines, Toulouse, Niemannen, and Valamaki that can make a difference. They add such depth to this Finnish team. Here's Coyne, back pass to Barnes. The thing the Finns are doing is their back check has been relentless. Now, Yemi Hurikoski, off she goes. Hurikoski stopped there by Decker. And once again, this time we have a penalty. This time the 5,000 referees let the two referees know it. Oh, this is Kirikoski's speed coming through the neutral zone. Brianna Decker will be the recipient of the two minutes here. As Kirikoski creates that puck to go north, it comes back south and Toulouse gets tripped up by Brianna Decker. One of the greats wearing the Team USA uniform, one assist away from Ty and Chrissy Wendell and Jenny Potter for all time, the all time world championship record. Another great opportunity. Golden one for the Lionesses in white. Carvin it. And here Koski off right the top. Here Koski. Well, she let that shot go. Here comes Carvin in over. Carvin it. Lets it go, but didn't get anything on that. And now the Americans break out two on one. Knight goes to the net. Here's Carpenter and Hillary Knight can't get her. Stick on it. Great chance for Team USA. Short-handed. We have not had a short-handed goal all week long in this tournament. Almost had one there. The Finns are going to need to make an adjustment on their power play at the top on that one-timer. Americans are really taking away that lane. Take away this puck too. Casey Bellamy has not scored in the tournament. So the Americans have had more shots shorthanded than they've had all period. And more shots than Finland has had on this power play. Last minute now of the man advantage. Tappany gains the line. Susanna Tappany's brought down right in front of the official. No call. Niemannen rimmed out Tuominen. Corrals it there. Minto Tuominen. To the far side. And Tappany, back pass, dangerous one. The veteran Salonen. They really could use Hirakoski out here right now. Now Val Valimaki turns. Look at that play by Megan Bozek to get in front of that. There's a one timer. That didn't get on net. Petra Niemannen, and so eight seconds to go. The Americans will kill this successfully. Well, Silva Lyman and Hirakoski are an integral part of the Finnish power play. Niskin is going to the net. She was given a little bit of a shot there. Net is off. Niskin in is slow to get up. Ten and a half minutes to go, second period. Yeah, Niskin in was just driving the net. Just got taken out or aggressively checked by Lee Steckline. Nearly does a good job of just taking away Niskanen's space and 
ensuring that no pass or deflection goes across to her as Rigsby is out and trusting her defender to take away the pass. Face off to the right of Alex Rigsby. There is Falzer. Koski keeps it in. Captain Finland. For so many years. Now good speed for the Americans. Carpenter trying to dish it off, but here Koski's back. The Americans again doing a good job jumping up and pinching, keeping that puck in that offensive zone. Kessel, Falzer. Back out. Kessel goes in front. Sydney Brought. Had it in her wheelhouse. Falls her. Just no area to shoot at right now for Team USA. And it's out over the line. Certainly seeing the active engagement of the American defenseman coming down to the tops of the circles when the puck is down low. Oh, look out. Look out. Wide of the net. Ellie Lightning. Now Kendall Coyne. Had to do the big dodge there. And a toe drag. Didn't work. There's Solomon. And Rosa Lindstedt strides over the line. You have to be impressed with this Finnish team. They're doing exactly what they did yesterday. They are not backing down, and they are making it very nervous for the opposition here at the Worlds. So the faceoff is to the right of Alex Rigsby. Shots now 18 to 10 in favor of the United States. Hillary Knight once more. Knight is open scoring in most of the games for Team USA. Kelly panics going to the net. Knight try to drift that through. She does not. This crowd is getting its money's worth here tonight. What a great hockey game this has been, especially for the fans. Quick shot. Oh, Nora does it again. Well, Cameron Easy gets the shot off, but Nora Ratchi reads the feed by Panic. Great job by Cameron Easy to get her right foot to kick that puck up to her stick and get that shot off, but Nuaratu knew it was coming. That glove is a weapon. Finn gets knocked down, and we have a whistle with eight and a half to go. What a terrific tournament this has been. For Team USA, 6-0. and oh. What an incredible ride this has been for the Finns. Four and two. The win over Canada yesterday. Canadians said they may have underestimated them a little bit. And when they were forced to press, got away from their game a little bit. Nora Ratu can make you do that. So we'll go down the ice for an icing call. Well, Finland will take the icing. They just elect to get the puck out. And sometimes the safest play is the smartest play, especially when you have the likes of Brianna Decker and Pankowski and Coin Schofield out against you. Passing Moosinen with that finished tattoo on his cheek. Draw one by the Finns. Kessel, though. Back and forth. Sydney Brott sitting right there. Wanted it. A couple of Minnesota natives. State of Minnesota. So many great hockey players through the years, especially in the women's ranks. Carpenter. There's Bellamy now. Bellamy. Ratu. Wide of the net. Rakowski banks it to the far side. And Neiman and gets it out. Well, that was a great play by Alex Carpenter just to read that the wide. The weak side defense when Casey Bellamy was wide open. Gifted passer, Carpenter is. Valamaki, scrap through. Sydney brought. Here come the Finns again, full force. Hard shot on Ratu. Clear it off to the side, they backhand it out. Now a stretch pass. And it is Niskanen, and Rigsby has to be sharp. 
Finns kind of change their attack almost every shift. Come at you once, lay back once, stretch it out. It's almost like a reactive MO. Uh, they're also reading where the puck is and how much time they have to get to it, whether they're going to pressure or contain. Team USA, rack two blocker. Hammer and easy. There with Knight again. Knight goes to the net. There she is, Hillary Knight. Chance to make it one nothing. could not. Good chance for Team USA. They flood this zone once more. It's an active stick there. By Michelle Carvinen. Send it out. Keller gloves it down. Americans wheel back right in the zone. Keller. Uh, Barnes. Barnes stops. What a move. Kayla Barnes right beside the net here. Trying to wrap it around. Oh, and what a play. By Carvinen to save that. Two great sticks by Carvinen on this shift. Keller and Barnes. Megan Keller. Pankowski. Oh, and Carvinen took that right in the chest. What a shot by Pankowski. And Carvinen taking one for the team. Listen to this place. Americans all over the Finns right now, and Ratu again. Finns need a whistle. They look tired right now. Going to the net in front, and Ratu will get that whistle. Stopping Kendall Coyne Schofield. Oh my goodness. What a performance here in Helsinki. Wow, she. Zero, zero. The game for gold here at the Worlds. Blue and white with red for Team USA and the blue and white of Finland. And finally drop it. One by Team USA. And Ratu again. Any hope that the Finns have in this game. Rests with 41. Well, this is Nomura just turns and takes the shot. There is no one in front there, so wasn't a difficult one for Ratu to make. Americans will be looking to get someone in front of her eyes at the top of her crease. Another draw one by Team USA. Bellamy trying to swipe it to the side. Finns deposit it down the ice. Now they send two four checkers in. And one high. Bank shot. That is not whistled icing. Savalainen. Kind of quiet here in this one. Not so much yesterday. Uh, she played 27 minutes in yesterday's game. It's a tough line change, too, for Finland. This period, so when they are hemmed in, it's harder to get off. Here she goes, Savalainen. And there is a whistle offside. And the American player is not happy with the shot, but it is very difficult to hear right now. Yeah, it certainly is. There's so much energy in the building. And Posse Mustin is certainly feeling that energy as he talks to Sovalainen. Shots now 23-11 in favor of the United States. Winner gets the gold medal. Earlier today, Canada shutting out Russia to take their first ever bronze. A historic week. Decker whistles one. And Hirokoski took another shot. She will stay in here, though. Pankowski with a shot. She scores! That wicked shot by Annie Pankowski makes it 1-0 USA. Well, how about Annie Pankowski and just a great sequence with Brianna Decker. The Finns are unable to gain the center red line and get it down the ice and it comes back the other way. Pankowski just gets that shot off in front of Kirikoski but again this happens a great check by
Kendall Coyne Schofield to dislodge that puck. Andy Pankowski picks it up with some speed and it just beats Nora Ratu just above her pad there. You can certainly see that the Americans are charged, but the fans in this building certainly trying to lift their team up. Next shift, very important. Now, how do you respond? And that has not scored many goals. A lifetime against Team USA. Scored two in the round robin at a 2-1 lead heading to the third. Under four to play in the second. A team that's only beaten the Americans once in its history. The United States 24-1-1 against Finland. Tuominen trying to put one on net. Team USA, Amaranese on Savalainen. And now a break here. Two loose, gets loose with a shot. Rigsby covers. Well, the Americans' transition is so quick one way, and then the puck comes to the Finnish defender's stick. She recognizes that there's been a line changer, and Nura Tulu's at the offensive blue line, just kicks it up to her stick. She recognizes she's running out of real estate as Emily Falzer has tracked her down and just gets a weak shot off that Alex Rigsby has a little bit of difficulty with, but it manages to crawl. So glad you're with us. Here in Espo, TSN, the NHL Network. What a terrific 10 days. Now, Niemann crashes to the net and really crashes into the net. The American player taken out. And Hannah Brandt is in the face. Petra Niemann. Well, young Petra Niemann, only 19 years of age. As she's going here, she realizes I may be able to get by and. And she does push the American right into it. Yeah, and it's Rigsby em gives her the Heisman. Yeah, it's Emily Falzer as she's trying to get by. And yeah. Falzer is in great position and is not giving her any ice in behind her. Petra Neiman and gets the shot off, but takes Emily Falzer, one of the strongest blue liners for Team USA on the back end. Falzer, the goal and four assists coming into this game. She was a plus 15. Kendall Coyne went over to Lacey Senek, a referee, Canadian referee. Nicole yeah. Hertrich, the other, talked to her about that extracurricular push at yeah. the end of that. Nice to see a North American official in the game as well. Canada not in the final. There's Decker, toe drag. Laura Ratu has given up the lone goal so far, but she stopped so many shots. Another shot blocked by Hovey. And now a chance for the Finns. Emma Newtonen put a straight pass, though. Two and a half to go. And right now, that one goal is the difference. There's a stretch pass. Ratu. And she holds. It's Kendall Coyne Schofield. Gave her a little whack, but Kendall's going back to the bench and telling the ref it was open. Nora kind of played that. She was looking late. to play it. She was, I think she was thinking about playing it as Kendall Coyne Schofield was coming right at her. And I mean, that was incredible. But earlier, how about the goal by Annie Pankowski? Coming in on Annie Hirokoski, who just gets caught backing in a little bit and gets used as a screen. Pankowski, see her elation there. Another part of that goal was the fact that Hirokoski was limping on that play and may not have been able to engage Pankowski because she just got hit with a major shot. Regardless, the United States has a 1-0 lead. And Rigsby's in trouble behind the net. Parvenin scrambling back there. Kayla Barnes, they tussle. Instead lost it. Two minutes to go. And we go to the third period. It has been a dramatic game. First time ever. A non-Canadian participant. The United States. Now, even in front of some quick shot. Scores! Susanna Tapani puts it in. Ties the game.
sink in here, and this is just a battle along the line. Petra Neiman and the young one passes it over, recognizes that there is a seam there, and Susanna Tapani gets that pass. She's on a bad angle shot, but gets it. Top shelf over Rigsby. He was out aggressively challenging, and you can see the 16-year-old Lightning who had the assist on the game winner against Canada. Just so excited. Tapani with her fourth of the tournament. Susanna Tapani again really was invisible over the first few games, but the last few games, big games, has come up huge. What an enormous goal. Who said ringette players couldn't shoot the puck? <laughs> so after three hours plus back 316 minutes and 34 seconds the shutout streak for the United States is over well this is the thing with Posse Moussinen's team he knows and believes that they can get two to three goals against teams like Canada the United States and that's just a great look by Petra Neiman and what a shot going over the shoulder of Alex Rigsby One minute left in the second period. a minute to go second period Annie Pankowski for the United States Susanna Tapani for Finland a locked in one Nobody wants to give up a late period goal here. Finland with a five on five goal. That was their second, their only five on five goal. The Americans gave up. Now another break here with 20 seconds to go. Americans gave up in the round robin. That's how good this team has been. The drive for five could be in jeopardy. Listen to this crowd when this clock winds down. Buckle up, everybody, for what could be an amazing third period. And there's a penalty. One point two on the clock. Now this is certainly going to be a tripping call coming through the neutral zone on Rika Salin in his coin Schofield dishes. The puck to Emily Falzer, who is engaged in the place. Allen doesn't keep her feet moving, uses her stick, and that, a that is a penalty, and it's been called against the United States earlier, so. Here's where I pull my goalie, right here. 1.2, go forward, United States won't. I'll try to go forward quickly, that will do it. Wow. And we got some temper, too. Why not? There's a lot of the line. Can this get any better? Especially for the Finns. United States streak on the line. Lori Dyken, Jana Hefford, Lori Dupuy with their thoughts. Our second intermission from the world's coming up next.